having spewed vitriol, violence, and all the negativity that the humankind is capable of, except the nuclear bomb. Mama Kapoor and Betty Kapoor, who successfully did it straight into your drawing rooms, now launch it on a larger canvas. Therefore, Ekta Kapoor's idea of sponsoring entertainment is to head towards Mohit Suri. And Mohit Suri's idea of entertainment is to make life miserable. To show how villainous people can be. How unaccountable we are. Like how we can kill without cause just like we can WhatsApp without reason. Resultantly, if you thought Ek Villain was a bad film that celebrated meaningless violence, go and watch Ek Villain Returns and the earlier would look like Godfather. Why? I reasonably would ask of producers and directors, why are we making this kind of cinema? And I ask with all sincerity at my command, why Mohan? Why Ekta? Are we giving currency to this kind of hatred in the name of art? Anyway, I'm so happy that the box office returns of this film is sending a message that we are tired and we don't want to see this kind of cinema. It's so inhuman, dehumanizing to be celebrating this kind of violence all in the name of cinema and art. If splintered glass all over the place, gunshots and stabbing and blood oozing and rape and killing is storytelling, congratulations Mohit Suri. You are the new Ritik Ghatak, the new Satyajit Ray. But please take a break. I think even as a filmmaker, even within the margin of artistic indulgence, we all have some amount of accountability or is that a zero? Forget the content. Forget the thematic content of the film. Let's look at the film person. You have this rich, spoiled brat, Gautam, Arjun Kapoor, who badly needs to be put into a washing machine more than anything else, who's making a real ass of himself everywhere. He get crashes into a big time celebration, stops an engagement stroke marriage, and that is not clear, smooches the bride and tells the groom, see, she still loves me and walks out with some sanity. This is to build a character of a guy who is a spoiled brat. This is a spoiled director. Then, the papa goes about killing this news because they come from a famous family, but suddenly manages to click this on Instagram. And so enters Arvi Tarasuttaria, whose job is to keep crooning and groaning all the time. She has put this on Instagram and therefore Gautam is in search of the person. He feels love with her, gets close to her and goes back to social media to expose her plans with someone else. One part of the story. They both break up or do they? Can they? Silly questions. On the other hand, we have this taxi driver in Bhairav, John Abraham, who takes a fancy for a girl at a department store, played by Disha Patni with a screen name of Rasika. Now, Rasika and Arvi, the two female leads, 
are so similar in everything. The way they dress, the way they talk, the way they walk, their body, their body language, everything is similar. You don't know who's who. Both of them are wearing extended under uh, wearing undergarments in the name of short pants. I don't know how you define the ending of a panty and the beginning of a short pants, and maybe it is politically incorrect to even be talking about it. But that is a fact I'd like to drop on about. Killings galore. Everybody says I'm the villain, I'm the villain. Finally, one of them says. I am the villain, you are the popat. That I think is Mohit Suri's statement. He is the villain and the audience is the popat. Badly made film. Not since Bapu Natkali is famous 21 consecutive maiden overs in Chennai against England. Have we seen anybody so consistent as John Abraham? From a funeral to an orgasm. From a smooch to a fight, from a fear at the face of a tiger to romancing with a girlfriend. One constant expression on his face. It is really demanding that you sit and watch John Abraham perform in a room. Wine for negativity with him is the one comparatively better performance and that comes from Arjun Kapoor. J.D. Chakraborty as the self-styled psychiatrist, Hams. You have everybody else in the film hardly worth the talk. The two girls, if this is acting, I'm Christopher Columbus. They have no sense of individuality. They seem to believe that tearing and smooching is acting. Maybe that's the Mohit Suri school of cinema. But please Mohit, understand audience tastes are changing. Aqualin was bad. Aqualin returns is pathetic. Pathetic both in terms of thematic value and in terms of artistic content. Poor footfalls are a justified certification for the film at a time when Bollywood is churning in bad news. This is one more nail in the coffin. Wake up makers of hate messengers of vitriol and revenge. There may be a good human bone somewhere on which you too can make a film. We'll wait because we have not much to do but end in erring on the side of optimism. Till then I'm sure sanity will prevail with the viewers and they'll understand that the best thing they can do is yawn your way at home instead of yawning at the theatre. Thank you Abhinav and Datu for helping out this edition and hope to see you later. Bye-bye.